Welcome to my film review of New Zealand film Boy. This film has become very close to my heart. I've seen it three times now at the movies, um, so I guess you could say I'm a little bit biased. Um, the film is based on a short film that's called Two Cars, One Night, uh, which was written and directed by Taika Waititi. And this is a feature film version of it, I guess you could call it. And Taika actually ended up acting in it as um, the main, the father character. Uh, now, the film is set uh, on the east coast, on the rural east coast of New Zealand in the mid-80s and it's a coming-of-age tale about a boy um, who, through the movie, comes to realise that um, his comes to realise that basically he, at the age of about 10, has almost outgrown his father who's been absent most of his life. So Boy has two main heroes in the movie, Michael Jackson, which um, is featured quite a lot throughout the movie, and then also his dad who basically turns up after being absent for most of his life. Um, and what I think is so amazing about this movie is that somehow he has managed, Taika has managed to create a balance between, this is how I see it, between Whale Rider and Once Were Warriors. So it still acknowledges the often tragic truth of um, the youth of a lot of Māori children in this country who grow up with um, parents who may um, have drug problems or are alcoholics or they have gang affiliations or they grow up around violence um, and in a, in a gang sort of environment. But it's not as grim as Once Were Warriors and throughout it it makes light of these situations and it also brings a lot of New Zealand humour into it which I don't think many other people or many internationals would necessarily understand. There's a whole scene which is dedicated to one, the older brother calling his younger brother an egg and then going through every single variety of egg that you could call someone and I don't think anywhere else in the world you'd get an entire cinema of people absolutely cracking up at a scene like that. So. The film manages to still acknowledge some of those sadder truths, um, but it's also still really funny and quite light, um, and it's quite endearing, but it's not sensationalist like Whale Rider, um, which is how I see those kinds of movies. So for me, it's the perfect balance, and especially as a Māori, I identified with nearly every single character. I identified with the furniture in the homes. I identified with the way that the nana spoke to her grandchildren. But I think that this is real, a really special New Zealand film because it's not just a film for Māori people to watch and identify with. I actually think that every New Zealander can identify with it in some ways, and I would give it probably 9 out of 10. So it's definitely a great watch and I'd recommend going to see it.